do you want to start a channel in 2022 well if you want to this video is definitely for you hi guys it's me anita and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys all the basics and all the tips and tricks nobody says tips and tricks in 2022 but all tips and tricks you guys need to know on how to start a channel especially in 2022 this is more like an updated version that most youtubers do not tell you so if you want to learn and become a youtuber by yourself make sure to stick around and watch this video to the end and with that being said like and subscribe and let's get started I first started YouTube with my iPhone 6s, a mini tripod and a clip-on ring light which was back in 2020 so it's basically been two years since I started YouTube so quick disclaimer I'm just gonna show you guys a simple easy way I learned which is basically my method on how I started my YouTube channel I basically taught myself everything I needed to know I watched some YouTube videos I went for some sites web classes and so on but i literally taught myself i just i woke up took my camera and started filming and i didn't really know what i was doing i taught myself how to edit i didn't even go to youtube to like learn how to edit i just basically messed around and you guys can check out my very first video on my old channel i created a new account which is this one my old channel got forgotten it got i couldn't access it anymore so there was a lot of you know struggles while i was starting youtube okay guys i have a tiny mic anyways so i put the color on just plain red because this part of the segment of the video is me just telling you something that most youtubers don't tell you so i want you guys to listen up and listen attentively because this is something that you will go through and i'm just giving you guys a heads up when you eventually go through it this is entering my eyes and quick disclaimer i'm looking down at my notes and i would have summarized this for you guys but i don't want to leave out so many details i'm just going to be raw and honest with you guys in this video so let's get started okay let's finally get started to be a youtuber is going to take a lot of time and consistency i would definitely say that when i first started uploading my very first channel it was not as demanding for me as it is now now i work with few brands i edit my videos and sometimes i post twice a week but lately it's been only once a month or three weeks which i've definitely been trying to be more consistent about but that was just what i've been working for me but i'm going to start posting more often for you guys and um i'll be like posting twice a week if that's yeah I, i'm going to challenge myself i'm not going to if that's possible because it is my passion and i have to be consistent so i'll be posting twice a week from now on so basically that's a lot of time and stress and energy that goes into editing because i want like editing is one of the major aspects that always reduced my consistency i always got worked up and lazy about editing okay so another thing i want to say is that once you already have your platform built for you it gets hard sometimes maintaining that platform because sometimes we're trying to make sure we're keeping up you know with everything and we're always trying to be on top we're always trying to be updated with what is trending what is new so there's a lot of stress a lot of anxieties a lot of you know energy and time you put into maintaining a social media platform it's not just what it seems and also understanding what it takes to maintain your platform by giving them a reason to keep following you by posting you know good quality uploading sharing with the world good quality content giving them a reason to keep on staying instead of unfollowing you or unsubscribing and you just have to realize that you are putting yourself out there and if you want your social media platform to grow if you want your youtube channel to grow you have to know that people are going to say a lot of things people are going to have opinion people are going to have so many hate comments have so many positive comments and you are going to have to be emotionally ready for it because definitely there will be trolls definitely there will be positive supportive people you have to ask yourself if you are ready for it if you are ready to go through this if you are ready to read comments that will mentally emotionally harm you and like continue what you are doing because it is your dream it is your passion you have to understand that it's either you have passion for you or you don't if you don't then i would most likely tell you i'm honestly 100 percent going to tell you that you will not be able to keep up with youtube definitely mentally and physically so basically if you're not really ready for people's opinions people eyeballing your every move then you're most likely not ready for youtube and yeah i will also add that it takes some time for me to edit my videos regardless of the fact i have my own style so yeah are you willing to sit down throughout the whole day 
two days three hours 12 hours to edit your videos to be consistent and making sure that your subscribers and your followers are fully happy and satisfied with your content because it is very hard to manage youtube work relationships with people your social life you know it's very hard to keep up with it because it's very hard to chase after your goals and dreams without actually having to damage your personal relationships i mean there are some people that can actually do that some people can actually be able to balance them all but personally for me because those days i would literally spend a full day or two days editing a video then next i'll start planning my next youtube video and i start editing another video i'll start creating thumbnails and i've realized i've spent like two days or three days without talking to people and the connections and relationships i have with people just keep on going down and down and down it's just that you just need, basically need to learn how to manage your time you know all your school life social life relationship life spiritual life and also having to do youtube you know okay so now that we are done with that aspect we are going to be talking about creating a youtube account so firstly i just want to say that whenever you're going to make your channel you want to come up with a name that you very much see yourself using for a very long time if you want to come up with a name that will last you or that you just pick a name that you keep on changing and changing you won't actually have a brand name you know people might your subscribers or followers might not be able to find you anymore so open a youtube channel you just you know having an email on youtube then there you have it you have your accounts you know profile picture description and bio two types of banner you could create from my own aesthetic view so basically you have seen the type of banner i have the type of banner i have is a simple basic looking one you could have you have proved that you fight well now you can join us Keep up. Keep up. wake up check your phone ignore the alarm you're still alone wake up rewind the night who are you? But also kind of who am I? Wake up, check your phone, be party for the apocalypse, don't forget to RSVP. Think about how the polar bears are running out of ice. But hey, this photo got a lot of likes. Get down, but don't feel down. This is why we can't have nice things, like a clean car or world peace. So have the sleep from your eyes, supersize your vibe. Wake up, check your phone, wake up, check your phone. Smoke till you feel numb. Check your phone, check your phone. Check, 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 check. Dial the tone. To the American dream, cherry coke in the bathroom of a club. Influence you, influence me. Under the influence of my own anxiety. Check your phone, get some new clothes. Not sure where to begin, still stuck in my own skin. Dennis Robin, 96, 97, even 99. What a time to be alive. Start a podcast, become a DJ. Try and fill the void inside. I'd be lying if I didn't say that sounds nice. Wake up, check your phone. But the batteries died. Wake up, check your phone. Brush your teeth, count your calories. Single use plastic, how tragic. Fake friends, real problems. Check your phone, but you're still alone. But you're still alone. Wake up. Bees are dying off. It's kind of sad. Oh, my bad. Can I have a plus one? Look directly in the sun. Get on the dance floor. Put your hands in the air. 24 7, loneliness. Live stream, no regrets. Check your phone.
all right let me change this to blue video ideas so if you're under my niche which is the lifestyle based aesthetic video content creation then here are some video ideas you guys would definitely like it's not really going to be much but i'm just giving you guys a few ideas so firstly we have you could start doing vlogs vlogs with friends vlogs by yourself vlogs with siblings story time videos morning routines night routines basically things relating to your life healthy productive videos that can also benefit people getting my life together videos thrifting hauls cleaning out my closets you know room transformation videos q and a trying to get to know me and you know challenge i don't think anybody still do challenges in 2020 so maybe i just don't watch that era anymore because i feel like it was in 2019 2020 that people were doing hot spicy noodles challenge what else rap in the car challenge but i feel like youtube has evolved so you can basically just create anything that keeps viewers interested to watch from the beginning to the end like mr beast now he's very creative just creates he just creates what pops up in his mind okay tip six editing 101 i started using imovie vlo vlo which is more experienced but i would definitely recommend imovie or vn for youtubers that are just starting out if you're just starting youtube the apps i recommend you for editing is just vn or imovie if you're using an iphone vlo is somehow hard to use or you could use i, I won't recommend cap cuts because cap cuts is mostly for amvs and tiktok edits of people so i'll basically just recommend vn and imovie or video lip or any app that suits you and also i'll talk about how i edit my videos in another video let me know if you want me to make a separate video for that one but yeah video is basically the app i've been using for myself it's what that has been working for me and if you want to try it then go for it it's not a problem thumbnails 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 what are thumbnails thumbnails are basically the first picture you see when you're on youtube the first thing you see like for example you're scrolling and you just see a picture of something that is what is called a thumbnail it's like it gives you guys a brief idea of what the video you're about to click is like to start off you could use a picture that resonates with your video or you could basically just screenshots any parts of your video that you need put to use it as your thumbnail that is on how to make a thumbnail let's say you are doing a shoe collection video you could take a pic of your shoe of a particular shoe or screenshots a segment from that video that you want to use and you know use that as your thumbnail so basically i'm going to show you guys how i make my own thumbnails
my final thoughts on basically everything i think i've given you guys enough tools into starting a youtube channel enough tips enough basic things that you need to know starting youtube my final thoughts is i really think you guys should not invest in youtube unless it's something that you are passionate about i'm being real i know some people must be like okay because you only want to do youtube don't you do youtube baby but for my own special advice from my heart you should not invest in youtube you should not put all your time and energy if it's not something that you would be consistent for something that you dedicate your time energy and social life for something that you don't have passion for and like sometimes the idea of starting a youtube channel seems all fun amazing bougie okay influencer shit i want to start a youtube channel i want to vlog if you're not going to make it into something serious then i don't think you should be investing all your time and energy to it because you will get to a point where you will get frustrated where you're not going to be seeing results as you expected where you're not going to be getting those imaginary those expectations that you kept in your head and you're going to just start getting having low self-esteem you will not be doing it mentally so i'm just giving you guys a heads up but last thoughts would be when you are finally mentally physically prepared you could just go for it you could literally just start no doubts when you know that you are fully re prepared for everything that comes with starting a youtube channel then you could just start now pick up your phone start recording pick up your camera your gopro your vintage whatever you are using to film and start recording and don't have doubts do not doubt yourself so yeah so that's basically all i have to say make sure to like and subscribe if you stayed to the end and comment this emoji to let me know that you watched this video to the end feel free to share to people that want to know and want to be updated and this is basically how i started everything you need to know and i'll see you guys in my next video you will see the next video and uh, that video might be chaotic but no spoilers oh my gosh no spoilers bye bye <laughs> bye